It's been a little over two weeks since Mike and I first started having sex. I was supposed to get my period a couple days ago and I didn't, so now I'm taking a test. I don't wanna tell Micah that I might be pregnant just because Micah has really bad anxiety and I just think a pregnancy scare would just ruin any chance of us like being together, or being something serious, and it would just completely wreck us. Okay, it says not right there. Thank God. This is dead ass real life, super serious to me. I need to just find out for real how he feels about me and I guess just see if there is a future for our relationship. You want me to say? Just okay. come a little closer, so you're bigger. I'm scared though. Okay, I'm actually, I need to like cover up. Be afraid, be very No, I'm like just scared. I'm scared of like big talks, like it freaks me out. Oh. Yeah. I like wanna hide. It just isn't working. No, it's not. I genuinely do want to know what are like your feelings for me. I had and have feelings for you that are like past friendship, but the things that have gone on for us this past month, it's just not what I want out of a relationship. Like the fact that now I'm fighting with like one of my best friends to the point where I don't even want to like be here anymore and you don't want me around anymore. Don't call me a friend. We're more than that and you know that. That's our Yes. Because you want me to go home and I... so you don't want to date me. So what kind so of what are you doing so here? what kind of friend is that? So then you're not my friend, are you? I we I can't be friends with you because I like you. I like you way too much. I can't be friends. Well you don't know how much of that was just the quarantine and you being lonely. No, but I just feel like I'm being like being lied to because it's like you told me you're like, yeah, like I can see myself like moving down here and like yeah, it's like in a couple like you told me all and I feel like that's all fing lie. Yeah, it's a potential. It's a potential. I mean, everything's changing. You say you're not gonna put pressure on it, but then all the time you come out here just like in a rage. You can never come out here and be like, hey, do you wanna just hang out? It's never just that. We've never gotten through more than 20 minutes, I would say, of any show without you trying to talk to me about it. it's like some super deep <laughs> And like after all the <laughs> that happened, yeah, it makes me wanna take a few steps back. And if you can't handle that, then that's not my issue. Okay. And this is what happens all the time when I talk to you. You check out when you're not getting the direction that you want out of the conversation. I just don't know. So I'm coming into these things open-minded. You talk in circles. Like, you can't just tell me what you want. Like, like I want to go I home, like Sam. Okay. Then go home. I want to go home. And go home. Go home. Go home. Go home. I don't think this is healthy go for home. you and I as personal then people. Go home. go home, then. Seems like, go Sam, home. Sam, you don't need to no, get up. go home. Go home. <laughs> oh my goodness, this is what I do. Like, I just see how it turns into like little flakes, pop it in, and just let it dissolve. I need a moment of silence.